There's somebody proposing. Another one here because you can't blame. It's a lovely background. So we already have our ticket. Sakwewa Sri Lanka Mabuhay Pilipinas Welcome World and Welcome Whitey World It's Sudi Aka here and now I'm on my next stop The Victoria Park in Nuara Ilya, Sri Lanka This is another park here in Sri Lanka that a must visit place Especially if you come to visit Sri Lanka So make sure that you will check out this place If you're a foreign, you have to pay 300 rupees for the entrance And for local, it's only a 50 rupees So I would suggest if you're a foreigner and you are married to a local Make sure that you have your marriage certificate with you That's a tip from Sudi Aka So help me to explore this place Flowers only, right? Yeah. But it's like different Sri Lanka is very rich with flora and fauna so I don't know if we will be lucky enough we are going to uh, discover some different types or species of birds but I think in this uh, place it's more about flowers and plants and huge trees look at these trees what trees is this? Cypress it's a cypress tree. That's huge. This tree. Do you see? That's the tree. Have the scary branches there. Okay. What are these flowers? Let's look at the plant bay. What kind of plant is this? I will go back there. Yeah? Hey, wait first. I didn't know that this plant have a flower. Look at that. Yeah. It's a flower? Yeah. You can see that? Look at that. This is my first time to see that. I didn't know that this kind of plant have a flower. Look here. And of course, these are lotus. Sri Lanka lotus. Is it your national flower? Is it the national flower of Sri Lanka? Is lotus? Yeah, I don't. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I was amazed with that one. I didn't know that these plants are having flowers and look at that. I thought that it's a tree. Oh well, something to discover. And there's a one one flower that I'm gonna show you guys. So come with me. I love in Sri Lanka. What I love in Sri Lanka because I always feel like I'm like uh, I'm in paradise, like newborn kid, <laughs> the first time to see things. Look here, this is another another type of uh, plant. Whoa! Look at that. Stone garden. Uh, normally what I understand when they say about stone garden, plants are those plants that they call like stone plants. So these are the stone plants, that's why they call this stone garden. So these are the types of the stone plants that you can see. Alright, and uh, I love it because different colors, and actually these are not flowers guys. These are leaves with a different color. And there's a purple there. And then I think this is a lilac or something. Yeah, that's lovely, and that's uh, like a mumps, different flowers, I love this yellow one, 
look very nice. Looks very summery, isn't it? It's like a mini sunflower. Yeah, it looks like a mini sunflower. And this here, is this a deal? Yeah, that's still. Yeah, so gotta find. No, isn't it that it's it the what's like a deal, white though. color big thing? I don't know. The one that the uh, turnips. That is it. No, 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 it's not the turnips. Looks like a deal though. Yeah, let's go and see what they have. Yeah. Look at this tree. It's like if you're gonna think this tree, if you're gonna look at it, you will think that it's like a dying tree, but actually that's an actual tree that the leaves is like that. But I think it's not a cypress or ah, maybe a variety. Bang. Yeah, maybe a variety. So it is still like a stone stone plants, right? A flower or no, it's oh, yeah. oh yeah. I didn't know that this is a flower. I thought this is something like a santan. Look at that, there's a one flower here. I didn't know that this plant is bearing flower. I don't know necessarily specifically what the name of this plant, but it's something unique. And what are these? Just the landscape of grasses and another landscape of grasses here, like a maze. So, we'll check some food first in the canteen. It's a little bit drizzling, but carry on. Carry on. <laughs> Look at the tree behind me, guys. You see the tree? Right there. See? Right there. It's a huge one. Let's go and discover some more places, guys. So I will turn the camera so you yourself will see how beautiful this place is. Stairs will lead us to a rose garden. So of course, since this is a rose garden, we will see a lot of daisies. <laughs> no joke. <laughs> Look at the roses. I'm not sure. Good landscape. I'm not sure if we are allowed to, to step there, but... I'd rather not. Yellow roses, lovely. Orange, pink roses. Yeah. It's roses everywhere. Of course, this is a roses garden. What to expect? like an artichoke but it's a flower I think there's a see it looks like an artichoke it looks like an artichoke but it has a pink a purple flower there's another photo shoot down there so let's look at uh, how she does the how is this? This is the, the modern Eve found in the Victoria Park in Warraelia and the name is Subiaca. <laughs> this is a cactus. Look at this cactus. Hey, you know that I remember this cactus, you can eat the fruits. Yeah, that's the one. But that, then it's yeah. very thorny. Yeah. It's very thorny. It's very sweet, actually. Yeah. This cactus is very sweet. This is most common on countries like uh, Mediterranean countries like Lebanon, In uh, Australia also, uh, yeah. and uh, uh, North Cyprus or something, or Turkey. And uh, But you have to make sure that you're not going to touch the fruit because it's thorny and it's itchy. So there's a way to open it. You have to wear gloves. You don't have to touch it. Yeah, so this is a, uh, but it's very sweet. I tried it once and it's very sweet. It tastes like the, the dragon fruit. It tastes yeah, like exactly a dragon fruit. Yeah, exactly like food. a dragon yes.
guys this this clip actually will be too long for one video and uh, there's still a lot more places for me to explore here in, uh, in uh, Victoria Park here in Warailia so I decided to end the first clip here and there will be a part two of the my exploration of the Victoria Park here in Wara Ilya. If you want to see the part two, and I would suggest that you really have to see it, or else uh, your trip to Wara Ilya will not be complete. So I will post the link here, and you will see the part two of my exploration in Wara Ilya. As for now, I will say goodbye and end my first clip here, and then I'm running out of breath. Except from that, please. If you want to see more of Nuara Ilya or Sri Lanka, please don't forget to click that red bell notification here so you will get notified every time I have a new upload.